Whether you're building a gaming rig, attending university, starting a remote job, or diving into creative work, the question of getting a laptop versus a desktop always comes up. Each has distinct strengths, but which one is right for you? Hey everyone, it's Rubes, and today I'll break it all down based on real world needs, and hopefully make it easier to decide which is best for you. If that sounds good, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel, as it helps me a lot and keeps me making more useful videos for you. Now, let's get into it. If the most important factor for you is portability, then laptops will win outright and you can stop watching the video right here. But please stay. Laptops are designed for on-the-go use. If you need to use your computer while at home, but you also need to take it to the office or school, or you like to get some work done at a library or a cafe, laptops cannot be beat in this case. Desktops, on the other hand, are stationary. They offer no portability, but their fixed position comes with significant benefits over laptops. They often include larger, more powerful components and a consistent, always on connection to peripherals, which makes desktops ideal for dedicated workstations or gaming setups that don't need to move. When it comes to performance, desktops have the edge. They can house dedicated higher wattage GPUs, more powerful CPUs, and superior cooling systems to help perform tasks more efficiently. This means desktops handle resource-intensive tasks like 3D rendering, video editing, and high-end gaming with ease. Their larger cases allow for better cooling systems and airflow, reducing thermal throttling and extending component lifespan. Laptops, however, are limited by power and thermal constraints, but they are catching up. High-end models can can match mid-range desktops for gaming and creative tasks, but constant heavy workloads often lead to performance drops due to heat management. That said, advancements in the latest upcoming RTX 50 series GPU laptops look promising and will hopefully further bridge the gap for many laptop users, provided you still mainly prioritize portability over raw power. Laptops also have another challenge when it comes to demanding tasks. They need to be plugged into power to deliver their best performance. When gaming, editing, or rendering on battery power, most most laptops will automatically throttle performance to conserve energy, which can result in lower frame rates, slower rendering times, and overall lag. Plugging in ensures that the system can utilize its full power, but it's a compromise that can make the laptop feel less portable during intensive workloads. This is another area where desktops have the advantage as they're always operating at full capacity without needing to worry about battery life. Since laptops rely heavily on battery life, a reliable power bank can make a world of difference. That's where the Inu Cougar P63E1 power bank comes in. At first glance, you can tell Inu put some serious thought into this power bank. The box is a vibrant till that I personally quite like, and the unique tearaway design on the back that says peel off to unbox is a nice touch too. This sleek, compact powerhouse packs a 25,000 milliamp hour capacity and delivers 100 watts of power, which is enough to fully recharge your MacBook Pro with enough juice to spare. In fact, I tested it myself and managed to get almost one and a half charges out of it. While making this video, it charged my M2 MacBook Pro from 4% to 30% in under 15 minutes and to 100% in two hours, which is impressive, especially for those long work sessions away from the desk. It's got two USB-C ports, one at 100 watts and the other at 45 watts, along with an 18 watt USB-A port. That means you can charge up to three devices simultaneously, whether it's your laptop, your phone, or in my case, a camera or wireless microphone. And don't worry about downtime. The device takes up to two hours to fully recharge, so it's ready when you need it. What I love most is how compact the device is. It's small enough to fit in your laptop bag or even carry around in hand, making it ideal for travel or working on the go. Plus, it comes with three years of in-new care, which gives you peace of mind. The power bank includes a display that shows the charging rates for both charging your devices and when recharging the power bank itself. The device automatically powers itself on and off when you connect the device and there's also a button on the side to view remaining capacity when not in use. With my Find X5 Pro which requires 80 watts and up to 5 to 11 volts at 7 amps for fast charging, other power banks struggle to barely charge it up to 10%. The Inu P63 not only fully charged my phone but exceeded the required volts and amps to fast charge effortlessly. I was able to get almost 5 full charges out of the power bank. The ports are spaced out and clearly labeled making it easy to plug in your devices without any hassle. The color options are another bonus, but these are exclusively available through Inu's website, and you'll find the discount code linked below for an additional 10% off. If you prefer Amazon, there's a link for that too. Whether you're commuting, traveling, or working remotely, the Inu Cougar P63E1 power bank is an essential for laptop users who need reliable power on the go. A big thanks to Inu for providing the Cougar P63E1 for this portion of the video. It's been an absolute lifesaver for keeping 
my laptop charged while out and about. Desktops prioritize performance over efficiency. They consume more power, especially when equipped with high-end GPUs and multiple drives. For users running a desktop 24-7, this could lead to noticeable increases in energy bills. Now, depending on use, my setup generally adds around 20 to 40 Australian dollars to my electricity bill per month, which I'm able to monitor with my smart plug that the setup is all plugged into. So if energy consumption is a concern, laptops have a clear advantage here. Laptops, however, are engineered for energy efficiency with low power processors and optimized components to maximize battery life. Even when plugged into charge or to fully utilize their performance, their overall power draw is significantly lower than desktops. When it comes to future-proofing, desktops have the advantage over laptops. You can swap out any component in a desktop PC, whether it's the CPU, motherboard, GPU, RAM, storage, power supply, any component can be upgraded or replaced to repair. This allows desktops to stay current with evolving technology, significantly extending their lifespan. If a component fails, you can replace it without much hassle, often at a lower cost compared to repairing or replacing a laptop. Laptops, on the other hand, offer limited upgrade options in most models, RAM and storage are the only user accessible components. This limits long-term flexibility and makes repairs more costly, especially if something like the motherboard or screen fail. Speaking from personal experience, I purchased a gaming laptop many years ago, the brand of which I won't mention, but let's say it's a favorite on the Big Bang Theory TV show. And within 12 months, the motherboard failed irreparably, so much so they had to replace the entire laptop with a newer model. In less than 18 months, the new device failed again but was no longer covered under their warranty. I was left with an extremely sleek and fantastic looking heavy paperweight. When it comes to cooling and fan noise, desktops again benefit here from superior cooling systems thanks to their larger cases and array of fan sizes and arrangements and even the ability to install all-in-one liquid coolers or more complex custom cooling loops. This not only allows for higher performance but also ensures quieter operation even under load and as an added bonus they just look amazing. Laptops struggle here. Now imagine sitting down for a long gaming session with your laptop on your lap, the underside of the device getting hotter and hotter as you get further into your session, and within 30 minutes you'll feel like you're cradling a heater on your knees, you'll likely find yourself running to a desk right quick. The smaller form factor also leaves little room for airflow, so fans work harder to cool down the device, which leads to more noise and potential thermal throttling during demanding tasks. Some high-end gaming laptops incorporate vapor chambers to help manage this, but they still can't match the efficiency of a desktop's cooling system. Desktops offer far more flexibility with displays and added peripherals. You can use multiple monitors to improve productivity or keep an eye on different programs running during gaming streams, often with higher refresh rates and resolutions, with larger screen sizes with no real limitations. This makes desktops ideal for gamers, content creators, and professionals who rely on detailed, high-resolution visuals. As for laptops, while they are convenient, they are limited by their built-in screens. Now, a lot of higher-end laptops are getting seriously up there with their capabilities of their screens, but if something happens to that screen, for example, it breaks or pixels start to die, we refer back to repairability. While external monitors can be connected to most laptops, you'll need to ensure the laptop has enough ports and supports the required resolution and refresh rate. Which brings us to docking stations and USB hubs to have access to these additions. These can help bridge the gap, but again, if you find you consistently have a hub or dock attached to your laptop for external monitors, ethernet connectivity or a standalone keyboard and mouse, you have moved away from the portability benefit of a laptop. However, some users like competitive gamers and traveling creators and workers may find this a benefit rather than a constraint as their exact needs are having that hybrid flexibility. You will almost always find that desktops provide better performance for the money spent. When it comes to desktop PCs, you have the option of buying pre-built or you can always custom build your own desktop if you have the technical knowledge. And if you don't, there are a ton of videos on YouTube you can follow to build your own desktop PC. Now let's say you have a budget of $1,500 to $2,000. You will always be able to maximize the performance you get from components within your budget if you custom build your own PC, as you won't be losing some of that budget to pay the labor costs involved. If you purchase a pre-built PC, you will still get a machine that will far outperform a laptop within the same price range. Either way, you'll still need to consider the additional costs of the monitor, keyboard, and mouse at the minimum. Laptops, while more expensive for comparable performance, are an all-in-one solution. You're paying a premium for compactness and portability, which makes sense if those features are a priority. Budget laptops are also fine for casual use, but power users 
developers who are gaming, editing and rendering will need to invest in higher end models which can become pricey. Desktops are built for longevity. With the ability to upgrade components as you need, a well maintained desktop can last a decade or even more. Their modular nature allows you to replace outdated components without needing a whole new system. Laptops have a shorter effective lifespan. As software and hardware demands increase, their non-upgradable components may struggle to keep up, forcing you to replace the device entirely after 4 to 6 years, sometimes sooner, depending on your usage. So should you go for a laptop or a PC? Well, have a look at which category you fall into and which you might benefit from most. Laptops are ideal for students, remote workers and casual users who value portability and convenience. They're also great for light gaming and on-the-go creative work. Desktops are perfect for gamers, content creators and focused professionals who need high performance, upgradability and a long-lasting reliable setup. There is an exception here. There are high-end laptops that can perform just as well as desktops can and will be extremely useful for competitive gamers, traveling creators and professionals and they can be the perfect device to either have docked at a workstation or set up right in front of you in a cafe which would be the ultimate hybrid approach. Now this would come with a hefty price tag but sticking with the point of this video you need to ask yourself which factors are most important to you. So which is better laptop or desktop? As I've been saying it depends entirely on your needs and your budget. If portability and flexibility matter most then you need to go for a laptop but if you need raw power with the best value for your money and the ability to upgrade over time a desktop is the better choice. Whatever you pick make sure it fits your workflow and your lifestyle. Now if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and drop a comment below letting me know your thoughts and which option is better for you. Thanks for watching everyone I'll see you in the next episode.